Hello guys, it is Cryptograns here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. Um, this is going to be a very, um, you guys just copy and paste kind of thing because um, what we're doing today is like an advanced save and export system, or an, an, an import system, and it's going to be a lot of work. So, so just be aware, this is going to be a boatload of stuff and you're probably going to get some errors. So uh, pay close attention to what I do. So first off, we need to create a new. So I'm just gonna jump right off the bat. We need to create another class, and you can create it in another script or the same script. But I'm just gonna stick with the same one, just because it's easy. But I'm gonna call it player data. You don't need a mono behavior for this. Um, basically, what we're doing here is instead of doing player preps, we're gonna save everything into a JSON. If you don't know what JSON is, it looks like this. It's like a uh, key. It's a, it's a key or a name. Just key, and then it has a value right here, a number, string, or bool, anything like that. And then it's just a list of this stuff. It looks like that. But ours will be a little clustered. It'll look like this. Um. It'll probably look something like this. Something like this because of our, our big double. It saves us two independent variables because it's because of uh if you don't remember from our previous video from here, we have t variable one, variable two, but it's not really relevant if you don't if you don't want to understand it. Um Okay, so let's just move start moving everything here. Uh, we don't, we can keep our texts where they were. Just need to get all of our costs. Uh, okay, here we go. So we're gonna get a bunch of red now. So up top, we are going to do. We're gonna call this class called um, public player data. And at the begin, this is gonna be a lot of work. So <laughs> just a FYI, but we can get rid of this load thing now. This save and load. Uh, what's this right here? Oh, we forgot one. Okay. Um, we can get rid of the save and load method at this point. We really don't need it. Right. Nope. We don't need it. So at this point, all your data, if you if you if you've already published your game or something like that, and you change it, your your data is just gonna get screwed over. No matter. I mean, if you're really wanting to like have a method that automatically moves this to this, and then delete it app, this that's just yeah. <laughs> I I rather just sacrifice all the data. That's what happened to my crypto clickers. I just I just ditched it. I just got everyone to start over. It wasn't big of a deal. Um, okay, so now at the beginning of every single one of these, we're going to put data dot. Because we're accessing the variable inside the the, uh, the player data class. So I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, so here we're going to get rid of this all this stuff here for the full reset. Just because we're going to add it to our player data class. So I'm forgetting a few things. Boop, boop, we're good to go. Um, so here, <clears throat> we are going to make a constructor method, which basically it assigns, or the point of this is on, when it's called, when this class is initiated right here, all of these variables is, so this is initiated every time this class is initiated, which is when the game runs, of course. Um, all these variables need to be set to something. Like you can't just like if you set it to two, yeah, that 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 really that, it's different than making a constructor. And constructor, you could start it with whatever you want. Because if you set like this to four, and then you, oh, I want to set this to five the next time I run it, it's not gonna change unless you have this <clears throat> this public uh, public player data. So there's no void in this too. It's just a public player data. And we are going to grab all these variables right here. Oh, actually, 
we're not going to do it in here. We're going to make another method called void free full reset. So this is our full, our full reset right here now. We're going to paste them in here. Set all of our default variables to what they were. So now the thing is, I don't remember what I said to them originally. So I'm just going to have to guess. I'm guessing that's a 1, 0, 0, 0. I can copy and paste this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then we call this in our player data re our player data um, constructor. And if we go all the way back down to this full reset, we call it down here. That's because we can't when in our uh, Unity, we won't have any access to the variables in here. We don't have any access. Now I don't know why Unity hasn't. Um, I like came up with a method to do this, but my best guess is because there's no mode of behavior. We can't have this because it kind of screws up with our encryption. Um, so here we're going to call this uh, I think it's serializable. Yep. So that means we can take all this data into a bunch of uh, ones and zeros. All right, sorry about that. I had to do something. Um, where was I? Um, I think I was at uh, where we take all this data to a bunch of zeros and ones, and we are able to save that. So I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. So we're done with this script for now. Or not completely done, but we're almost done. So here's the copy and paste uh, BS that we have to do. We're gonna make, we're gonna make two different scripts. Um, actually, we only need one. Okay, I forgot. I merged two scripts into one. Um, call this save system. So this is going to be like, you're going to look at this and you're going to get really lost. Like, trust me, I don't understand what a huge majority of it means. Because a lot of it is related to, um, encryption, like double air encryption. So... <laughs> I'm gonna copy and paste it, so just be aware. Okay, my bad. All right, I want you guys to copy and paste this code. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is gonna be a build load, okay? Just be aware. All right, so here you go. I'll kind of scroll through it. Okay, so you guys can pause whenever you should get it. A um, few things we need to fix. This is from my crypto clicker script, so you can change that to, um, to player data so it's not red. Get rid of that red. And so this right here, Ethereum controller, this is going to be your idle tutorial game. Your main script, basically. Um, oh yeah, on we can delete this too. We don't need this. That was just for me. What else is red? Um, offline progress check. Okay. So this is offline progress, which I've done in another video. I can honestly do that in this episode since we're doing a different save system, but uh, it's honestly kind of the same. Okay. So basically what this whole script does is that it takes all of your um, variables here, all your data, it converts it to JSON, which and then it's converted to string, and then that's saved into a text file. Oh yeah, no, so it's converted to JSON, and then it's encrypted, and then encrypted again, and then that is saved to a text document. Uh, it's saved to two text documents, in fact. One of them is this main one right here, and then there's a backup one. This this one um, happens every five saves, just in case there's something wrong with that one save that could have corrupted. And um, I've actually, without this backup, I've had a lot of issues with corruption. And this backup has saved me, er, saved players every single time. I haven't gotten a single complaint about corruption in their data since the dawn of time of this um, creation right here. Um, another thing I want to uh, keep you aware is that when you delete your app, or when you ever do, whenever someone deletes your game, this data will disappear. It, it's not a cloud save. That I don't really know how to do cloud save. I don't want to get into cloud save just because 
um, you can simply just copy and paste this um, with the export. You can copy and paste it and save it into a, a note a note file. The problem is that <laughs> the string is going to be very huge. It's going to be, with my game, it's at least 25,000 characters. With this game, it'll probably be around maybe a, a few thousand. Just because of, probably maybe like a thousand. Just because of how little variables are. Anyway, it's, uh, so here, um, you need to create a 16 digit or a 16 character long string between with um, lowercase letters. Actually, I don't think that matters, but I would use numbers and letters that don't share it with your community or else they're going to be able to debug your, your save and cheat. Um, same thing here. This is a 24 string, uh, 24 character string. I don't think it really matters how long it is, but I would just do 24 just to be safe in case it screws up. And don't use any like dashes or anything. This is numbers and letters only. That will mess everything up. So numbers and letters only. Um, you could change, you could choose whatever kind of path you want. I'm going to do tut save. I'm going to do save dot tut make sure it's not like a like a dot exe or else that's not gonna, you know it's not gonna work <laughs> um idle tut save or dot i'm gonna do idle tut dot save and this one will be idle tut backup dot save so it can read and write to these so at first whenever you run it you're gonna get um you might get an error saying that you don't have like the rights to ch edit or make changes to this location. I ignore that. That's just something that I can't figure out with the this thing right here, which I've been trying, or me and my helpers have been trying our hardest to figure that out, and I, we're we're doing good so far. So <laughs> we'll see about that. Um. So yeah, I think that's done. This is all the encryption bullshit right here. <laughs> Yeah, it's called uh, AES, if you want to do some research on that. So basically, it um, it, it converts from uh, AES to Base64. So it makes it more readable. Or, not really readable, but it doesn't look like a bunch of gibberish. If you've ever played Antimatter Dimensions, that's basically what it is. That's what your save looks like. And if you've played my game before, that's that's also what it is, too. Um, yeah, it's kind of easy to implement once you, yeah, you want to understand it. So back to the, not the script, back to your tutorial script, or your main one. On start, I want you to do, we need to call, oh wait, um, we need to do save system dot load player. And in here, we need to do data we need to put data in the method i think we need it yep we need to do ref the reason why we're doing ref is because we need to directly change these variables because the, uh, by default they're gonna be zero every time we load remember they're gonna be zero or one or whatever we set them here we need to change them so that's what this load player will do it'll load the saved data that like the number whatever changes we've made in order to replace it so we got the load and for the save it's save system dot save player. Uh, I think it's just data, right? Is that it? Yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Okay. So at this point, it's just a it's just a bunch of uh, um, UI stuff that we need to do. And crossing our fingers that it'll actually work. Um, this is never used. Yeah. This would happen, I think. Well, the reason why it's, not, it's never used is because we never actually use the variable itself. It's just that whenever we get an error, it's just going to debug this. It's just going to print out that. But that hasn't happened yet. And usually when that happens, I get another error. So, uh, when it, when it comes to decryption. Another thing is that if you copy my save 
from this game's import system. It's just not going to work because we're going to have two different keys. And that's why I kind of made this right here. This is not my key. So I use a different key. So make sure you change them so, not, so that everyone who's making this video are, aren't using the same key because that would be kind of... That'd be kind of not good. <laughs> so we're gonna make a, a a settings button. I'm just gonna use this right here. What is wrong with you? There you go. Don't know why our UI looks like crap. Oh, it's because it's a button. That's why. That's why it was stretched. Eh, ignore these dumb errors. I'm just going to put this in the corner, right? Like so. And that can be our settings button. And now we're going to have a settings screen. So this is going to be a little different. This is going to be like a whole new game object. Yeah, so... Hmm, this is the button. Oops. We're just going to get rid of all this. Settings screen. I'm going to put my background back in here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to replace this with a new background here so it's on top of everything. Because I really don't want to mess with canvas groups for this. I don't do that with any of my settings. Ah, shit. Make sure it's stretched out. And change the anchor so it stretches. Now we can add an image. Uh, I, I guess that works. We can just add an image to the game object. That works, too. There we go. So this would be a setting screen. Just going to put that in here. Settings. Uh, we also need a back. So I'm going to take the setting button again, white, back. <clears throat> um, okay, now with the actual settings. So there's going to be quite a bit we have to do here. Okay, uh, we're going to need a few buttons. We're going to need manual save, because people like to do that. Um, we need an X in an F import and export so import export and we're gonna need a text mesh pro input field ah uh, we gotta import these again i swear i have to do this every time i launch unity i don't know why probably because i haven't done with this project so we're gonna need two of these and the reason why we need text mesh pro is because the regular unity input fields limit the characters to like 6,000, I think. So these will make it unlimited. Or actually, this might be up to like 32,000. I'm not really sure. But I know that is that they can store really large um, chunks of text. So we got import, export. I could have honestly just copy and pasted these buttons here. Because these are ugly. One, two, three. Place them however you want. I really don't care. <laughs> so this is gonna be our save. We're also gonna have a, a, a just uh, another button. This is gonna be a clear fields because it's kind of easier to just make sure you have an empty. Blah. Okay. It's gonna be kind of messy. I'm I'm really bad at making looking uh making good looking settings, but I'm just kind of not really trying at this point. But the the looks of this settings page. 
manual save, or this will be save. Import. <clears throat> Export. Clear fields. Okay. Um, okay, now back to our input fields. You can do whatever you want with these. This is going to be my import. This is going to be my export. I don't know why this doesn't say insert text. Kind of weird. You see that? It doesn't it doesn't show. Got to make sure this is shrunk down to its size. Yeah, don't know. That's a little weird. Whatever. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Source image. Input field background. Okay. Um, let's just customize this. I'm going to make this bold. Yeah, that looks fine to me. We can make it run on as long as possible. Uh, let's make this text multi-line. Line limit zero. There you go. Holds on a limited amount. We can do the same thing here. Okay, <clears throat> um, so now we have to access all this stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> so we need to have our save system script. Save system, get rid of this. That's save system. Okay, so we have our import input field and our export. Uh, encrypt, decrypt value, what are these? Oh, that's just that's for me only. Here, I forgot to get rid of two things. Where is my script? Where'd it go? Okay. So, I made you. You can decrypt your and change your stuff by debug logging it. You can let me just. Um, I'm gonna keep this for you. Actually, I think you need this. Do you? It doesn't look like you need it. Okay. So here you can test the encrypt, uh, encrypt. Yeah, uh, we can get rid of these. Okay, so it kind of screws up here. Decrypt value dot text. So here you can see what like what things actually look like you wanted to it's because this this basically decrypts your save so i mean if you really wanted to you could do debug dot log just print that same thing here but i'd rec yeah you can keep this if you want to um okay <laughs> I don't remember if we needed all of this or not. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna just cancel this. I don't. I really don't know what. This, I don't remember. I don't remember using this at all. So I'm just gonna delete it. So yeah, make sure you delete the encrypt. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll show all the code at the end. Yeah, I'm telling you, this whole save thing is just a fucking shitload of stuff to do. 
Okay, so now instead of game manager, we need to drag our save system. I think that's it. This is it. Yeah, okay. So we have our import. Make sure you, in the import, make sure you drag your game manager into here. Since that's your script that you're using. Drag save manager to your export and click export player 2. Uh, this is just the method name. You can change it to export player if you wanted to, but I just forgot to mention that. Okay, so save your game. This might not work. We will see though. Oh, I know it doesn't work. Yeah, so here's the sharing violation like I, like I was talking about. Export. Okay, this doesn't... I think this is it. <clears throat> It didn't look like it, uh, so, okay. There's one way to test it, which is to actually, like, make our buttons do something first. Public game object settings. Oh my void, go to settings. Dot settings dot game object dot set active true. And then I'm gonna make another one called go back from settings. Go back from settings. Of course you could use um canvas group changer if you wanted to. If you added a canvas a uh, canvas group to it. Okay, so save, back, we make our back button do something, drag the game manager, go to idle tutorial game, and go back from settings, where is it, where is it, where is it, there it is, <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the same thing, the settings, and go to settings, save it again, so let's, let's give this a shot. Okay. Ah, uh, the clear fields is not in the settings screen like it should be. Alright, so we're going to have $28. We're going to quit out of it. Cross our fingers. Oh, so we, go. we got our save. Now, let's try exporting it. So we're going to copy this. Click some money. Save it one more time. We should have $42. Okay. Now we're going to import. So this should be $28. Import. Boom. We got it. <laughs> so uh, we can play around with this a little more too. So let's drag this where it should be. Okay. So this setting screen should be disabled. Save. So let's have a little fun with this. Let's buy some upgrades. I forgot it's click. So we need to test all the save things here. Okay. So here comes our production. Our production upgrade 2 is upgrade. It's not working. I'm aware of that. I think I forgot to finish something with it. I think I've said that in another video. Okay. So we're just going to let this run. Um, so while this is running, I'm going to show you where the file is actually saved. So you're going to go to this PC. Yeah, I know. I'm out of storage. Users. Your Your username. App data local low. So this should this is gonna be called default company until you give it a name. You'll find all your games here, and ours is idle game tutorial series. Unity ah shoot wrong folder wrong folder. It's actually <laughs> it's local. <laughs> I think no. Is it roaming? 
Shoot, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so this Crypto Grounds. Okay, so it should be default company. Oh, here it is. I'm I'm very blind. Yeah, here's your save files. So now you gotta open with this is I don't know how to find it on like a mobile device, but I sure know how to find it here. So yeah, here's our save file right here. Uh good view. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Now I'm not sure why it's doing a bunch of new lines. I think that I don't know if that's just formatting. Yeah, here we go. Here's our safe. <laughs> Let's see. No. That looks better. Okay. But yeah, that's that's where your safe goes. Okay, now we're gonna save this one more time. Make sure everything here is saved. Beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically the save system. <laughs> With the export and import, now this is something you probably don't won't ever see on YouTube till today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, while I'm talking, I'll scroll through my script one more time. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a really long time since I've uploaded on this series. I've been really busy, and I wanted to do the Clicker Heroes series because why not? And I thought it would be a fun one, and I can also... Remove some episodes I was going to do here, and I put it in there, like animations and stuff. I, However, here, I still need to do offline production because of this new save system, and you should be able to implement this with the Clicker Heroes game, too. Um, yeah, this is really good to use. Ditch player press as soon as possible. It's shit. You cannot export and import easily without having to get deep into your device. And it's just a mess. Not worth it. You should do this instead. It's a little complicated, but you don't need to understand it to get it to work. That's just a good thing. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't yet, you guys should check out my Kofi account. I have gotten my first donation. Oh, shoot. I need to log in. I was going to give someone a shout out. Uh, not now. Received, given. So yeah, someone named Final Cloud has given me first donation. Thank you very much. I've been helping him a lot um, uh, on Reddit. So yeah, shout out to this guy. He's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And if you guys want to tip in too, go ahead. Just three dollars is would make me happy. And yeah, make sure you check that out if you're interested. And also check out my Pinterest as well. I know not many YouTubers use Pinterest, but I'm kind of just trying to grow my awareness on um, my idle games on Pinterest. So there's not made too much idle games on here, so I'm trying to like increase it. Um, get as many outside of the idle game universe into this, you know, kind of tutorials because I feel like it's good for people to learn and stuff like that. So I post like my game screenshots. I post like I like to repub a lot of things um, tutorial series so yeah I like to do that kind of stuff anyways uh, don't forget to hit that like subscribe and turn on notifications hope you guys enjoyed this video have yeah. a great day got me in this party all up in a zone how this Betty's trying to take away my cell phone like come and party I've been trying to shake you off my mind but just can't get you off me keep it moving they ain't worth it yet that's what my father taught me but for now I'm going through the motions of letting go cause my mind's telling me yes but my heart really don't know your heart went dark out of nowhere yet I still see a glow so we had the hottest love why'd you leave me in the cold